guys here we are back again so I'm gonna try a different base color this time I bought some paints at Michael's I think I mentioned it a few videos ago and this one deco art suede is on sale for like super uber cheap it's like eight ounces gorgeous colors it won't work you guys um, I did mention last time I tried to mix it with my pouring medium it just turned into like I think I said elephant snot. It's awful. Absolutely awful. But I do have three colors of it. So now I've mixed it with some just plain white Canadian Tire Easy Flow latex paint and made this kind of a pretty light sagey olive green. So we're going to use that as a base coat and see what happens. Um, it is called suede. So it has a certain amount of texture to it. So I'm not sure what it's going to dry like. So this is nothing more than experimental, you guys just experimental so because we're on earthy green colors we're gonna stick to kind of a more earthy color palette so let's do a little bit of raw umber you guys don't be afraid to just mix stuff up you guys mix try you know what for a couple dollars that i paid for it, it it's definitely worth the effort no, you know, you don't know until you buy it. Just don't be buying tons of it in case, like I said, it doesn't work. It, there's no way I can mix this with medium. I've tried to mix it with Floetrol. It doesn't work. I've tried to mix it with my pouring medium. It doesn't work. So this is Art Mine's Gray. It's called Gray Wool. This is another one that I bought at Michael's that we've all said has a funny consistency, but it's workable. You just have to keep... You know, you just have to keep sort of, of thinning it out. I thin with polyacrylic and water until you get it to where it will work. But it will work. Oh, this is going to be totally weird, you guys. Not Probably not weird for me, but totally weird for most of you. All right, a little bit of Payne's Gray. Let's just give this a bit of contrast. And this is a little bit of interference red. Oh goodness. We're just gonna drizzle that like that. This is a very technical way of going about depositing your paints, you guys, letting it run off your thumb. Okay, here we go again. And a little bit of decor, white satin enamel. I'm hooked on this stuff. This is a I really like what this stuff does. I have a hair in there. I saw it fall. And what else can we add? Let's add another green. Let's add a, let's add a, this is another olive green, but it's one that I made myself. So this looks like hodgepodge, you guys. Okay, black cell mix. I'm going shopping today with my mom, and it just happens to be where she wants to go is right beside Opus. And I thought, oh, what a coincidence. My favorite stores these days, you guys, are hardware stores and paint stores. So I thought, that's perfect. We'll go buy your pants, and then we'll just pop into Opus on the way by. So I'm going to add some more white around because this is going to add contrast, I think. Maybe my, the color's a little bit lighter, but that's okay. All right, you guys, here we go. This is going to be an interesting blowout because I don't know if anything is going to move or work. moved and worked. We're going to give it a second. Let our colors, if this green works, then I'm going to move on and try cranberry because I bought a cranberry one too and it's gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. I actually thought about saving it and repainting a table because I have a table in my living room that's kind of a bone color and my living room has lots of cranberries in those colors so I could easily, easily put that in there. 
I paint it suede and maybe distress it a little bit. That's how I got into this crazy paint pouring, you guys. I refinish furniture. I used to pick up all these pieces at secondhand stores and re refinish them and distress them. And sometimes I resin the tops of them and I would sell them. And then, you know, the furniture starts piling up. And I, I only have, like I said, I only have a really tiny house and I can't afford to have furniture piling up. So then it was like, break it down and get into something smaller, which became painting. Then I started painting on canvases, acrylic, and I was really fortunate. I had quite a few pieces that sold out in a local restaurant, but you know what? They start piling up too. And pretty soon I've got so many pieces under the bed, the cat no longer has a place to hide. So I switched to tiles because I could still be creative. And you know what? They fit in a shoebox. Anyway, that just sort of launched me on this whole thing that I'm doing now. And then I posted some pictures on Facebook and so many people said, oh, you should do a video, you should do a video. And I said, no, 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 no. This is not me doing a video. I don't want to talk. Oh, you don't have to talk. So I did a couple of videos. I didn't talk. Now look at me, motor mouth. Okay, guys, I'm done, 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 done talking, you guys. So if I can find my modifying tool, over here let's do this this has got some super super pretty cells in it i wish that the black in the middle i don't know if i can blow it out any better and i don't really want to wreck what's here so i think we're just going to maybe modify and go right through that black and just break it up that way i lost my cloth you guys there it is it's right on my apron, my painting apron that I never wear that sits on the table. Look at some of these are beautiful. Hmm. This is boring, but this is lovely. Okay, enough staring at this. Let's do it. Moves a tiny bit differently. Not much. I guess it's probably 50-50 mix with just regular Canadian tire latex. So here we go. I'm going to maybe dump off some on this corner and see what happens. Yeah, I like it. It's fun having a base coat in a different color. I have done... I have done other pieces. It's not like it's a brand new thing for me, but you tend to forget. I tend to forget. I forget everything. I was talking to somebody the other day and said, I'm at that point in life where I have to make a grocery list or I don't remember what I want at the grocery store. But then you know what happens? I get to the grocery store and I don't have my list. I think you big dummy. You sat at the table painstakingly figuring out your groceries and then you don't take your list to the store or I take my list to the store and I don't have glasses so I can't see my list and then I feel like a total idiot Then I get to the till and pray to God the tap is working so that I don't look like a total fool when I can't see the numbers it's awful 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 getting old sucks so I'm liking this piece I'm liking this green we all know I have a thing for green. So it's not at all surprising that the green base works for me. But it's definitely got some pretty things. It's definitely a warm fall palette. It'll be interesting to see how this dries because like I said, this green has 
a little bit of texture to it. It is called a suede and that it is supposed to look like brush suede. I read the instructions. Imagine that. You put it on one way and then you let it dry and then you paint over it another way so that it gives that texture. Um, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to let it dry and see what happens. And I'm not even going to modify it, you guys. I think my modifications now are more about manipulating the paint initially than putting in these funny little lines. So here we go. Bring it down. Have a look. It's pretty fun, actually. Yeah, look at that, you guys. Those are pretty bold colors and pretty cool cells. So let's not mess with this. Let's exercise restraint and know when to walk away okay guys as always thanks for joining me thanks for reaching out thanks for saying hey a couple videos ago that was super fun you guys you guys are awesome thank you bye